Hello everyone and welcome back to the homestead. It is a cold and dreary day here on the homestead. It's the afternoon, 3.54, so we're just about four o'clock. I was at work this morning and I got out a little bit early, so I went and did some hunting. And then I had to pick up Emma from school and now we're gonna get the turkeys that you see behind me some protection. See this cold, dreary weather that we're having belies um, a storm that's coming through tonight around 10 o'clock. We're gonna be getting some possible snow rather than go back out into the woods, which I'd really like to do uh, to hunt some more this evening and bring Emma with me and hang out in the blind. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get this tarp put over the two pallets that I was able to get up on the turkey hut the other day. And then after I do that, we're gonna talk about something that, we're gonna talk a little bit about the direction of the channel, where we're going, so stay tuned for that. It's gonna be fun to see if we can get this on with the, the little bungees that I have. Set you guys up somewhere where the turkeys won't peck at you. It's pretty much wishful thinking. So I got the tarp wrapped under there, the bungee hooked to the corner, and then it goes up and over the back and down. Maybe throw some straw in there and lean this extra pallet up against the side and give them a dry spot and that's, yeah, that'll do it. All right, let's go give some to the pigs now. I've got the straw for the pigs. I've got my corn decoy back there so I can throw them off while I'm running the bales of straw out to their hut. Things have been a little crazy on the farm lately. You guys have probably noticed that in the form of videos kind of being released willy-nilly, kind of whenever. <laughs> camera set up and we'll talk about why that's been. Can we see me? Am I good? I think I'm good. All right, I think that's better. It's getting dark and I don't know how much light I have. Wow, my hands look freakishly huge right now. So as of late, our videos have been coming out kind of at a crazy schedule. Uh, you, in the past, we've tried to keep Tuesday, Thursday, and I think a lot of videos lately have been coming out on Wednesdays because I'm late on a Tuesday video, or I've just completely not been able to get a Tuesday video out and they've been coming out Thursday or Friday or maybe some Saturdays in there too. Hold on, I don't like how low that is. And where I'm finding a lot of that stemming from is me switching over to days in the new role at my job. See where I worked in my previous management role, I would work mornings, I'd work evenings, I'd work afternoons, I'd work nights. It really kind of changed day to day and even week to week, like no two weeks I had the same schedule really. So what my schedule looks like now is I'm working typically eight to four or six to two and that's putting me in a position where I'll pick up Emma from school if I get out at two and then come home, cook dinner, spend some time with the family, and then Emma goes to bed, and then Jackie and I have some time in the evening to hang out, which is great. I'm super excited that I get to spend this time with my family. I've also been behind on videos because I've been making soap. Tons and tons of soap. 
I've actually got a cool sale we're gonna be releasing on Black Friday. Keep an eye out for a video where I'll talk more about that. But for now, just know that I have been grinding away making hundreds of bars of soap at this point. But what it's turned videos into right now are I'm hustling to film on the weekends and then edit whatever I filmed on the weekend into videos for the week. And what's been happening on the weekends is trying to get things done, especially with light kind of dying. It, it's not summertime, so I don't have the ability anymore to come out and film till 8.30 at night. You know, it's 4.37 right now, it's dark. I mean, the, the camera's about on its last legs as far as filming. So something's gotta change and I'm proposing the following change going forward. And I'm gonna hold myself to this starting with this video right here. Videos are gonna come out on Wednesday and Saturday morning, same time, 8.30 a.m. Eastern time, uh, but Wednesday morning and Saturday morning. My hope on all of this is that I can film a video on the weekend and I have Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday night to edit it and get it uploaded for you guys, put a little bit more quality into it because right now it's been, you know, even this video right here is quick. Slap it, you know, film it and slap it together and then get it uploaded for the next day. Additionally, that will give me essentially the entire week to film a second video and work on that video Wednesday, Thursday, Friday night, and Friday night if I need to, I can even stay up late without fear of having to get up super early on Saturday morning uh, to go to work. My hope is that in releasing videos on Saturday, I'll be able to do premieres with you guys as well and hang out during, during the video when it comes out right away. You know, maybe some of you guys wanna do that, maybe you won't, I don't know, we'll give it a shot. But my hope is that those two days of the week will work out better. It gives me a little bit more spacing in between. You know, Tuesday and Thursday was tight. I, if I filmed the video Monday for Tuesday, that means all I had was Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday, and Wednesday night to edit it for Thursday. It gave me like less than 48 hours to get out a second video. Um, this will hopefully offset that and be better. Now, as far as what this video is about, um, we gave up. And you can see there's a huge pile of firewood here that I did not split. See, here's the thing. If we go over to this pile of log length wood over here that you saw me splitting in a video that I'll link up in the corner, I did a lot of work on this. But as it turns out, when I threw the moisture meter in it, it was still testing at about 30 to 35%. Which, if we're going to burn it for cordwood for the wood stove that is not good and it's getting real dark out here guys uh, i've got my lens wide open so i don't know how well it's going to focus on my face hopefully it does okay 35 percent, even 30 percent, is no bueno for cordwood you want to burn at 20. i contacted a friend of mine who's got his own tree service and he does cordwood occasionally he doesn't always do cordwood but i reached out and i said hey do you have any cordwood this year what's it like is it dry and he said he's got some great dry stuff. Um, the price was not the greatest price, but I'll take dry and from a friend than questionably dry and from a shady individual that I found on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or something like that. And all of this was just because one, we know the wood that we have is not necessarily dry enough to burn this year. Uh, you know, I could split it up really small and it could dry pretty quickly. But two, there's a lot of work over there in that pile of, of log length logs right now there comes a time in every homesteader's journey if you will that you just need to call it call it i'm not gonna say call it quits i mean maybe call it quits i'm calling it quits on cordwood for the year i'm gonna leave that log length i might saw some more of it up i i'm not i'm unsure what we're gonna do with that yet it's in a good place right now where it's not really messing with anything for the winter i can snow blow right up to it which is awesome but the cordwood that we got over here um, this will do more than enough to keep us warm for this winter. And it's a lot less stressful knowing that I've got dry wood that only needs to be stacked versus a pile of logs that I need to cut, I need to split, and then need to be stacked. Especially with a wife who's pregnant. I mean, we're, we're due three months, December, January. We're, yeah, we're down to, we're, it's almost November 20th. We're down to three months. We are entering the third trimester, folks. So that's it. Maybe this is a little bit of just like a motivational Wednesday. That doesn't, there's no alliteration there at all. Uh, but a little bit of a motivational video. Listen, if you're stressed out about something and, it, you know, there's an easier way out, don't rat rake yourself over the coals for not going the path of most resistance. Um, yeah, I, I tend to agree. Going that way does build character. It's, a, it's not a bad thing to put in a hard day's work and, and bust your butt doing something. But, um, 
but it's also not worth it to get super stressed out and just wear yourself down over something where, you know, you have the ability to, to mitigate that. With that said, I am gonna go do waters for everybody because they're gonna freeze overnight if I don't get them done soon. It's probably, it was 38 a little bit ago, so it's probably getting back down to freezing now. And then I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna cook some dinner for Emma, and I'm gonna get this video edited for you guys out tomorrow because this is gonna be the last time that I stay up late, stressed, trying to meet a deadline with videos for YouTube. Thanks for watching everybody, and as always, have a great day. Bye.